She's a Nigerian actress that exudes ageless beauty off screen and displays charm and talent on screen. Her early foray into Nollywood was followed by over a decade hiatus, and on her return, it was like she never took her foot off the pedal. Hello, guys, and welcome to another exciting installment of our Top 10 Celebrity Facts series, brought to you by Sidemex Entertainment. Today's episode is all about the beautiful mother of three sons, bilingual Nigerian actress come filmmaker Omoni Oboli, whose first forays in the Nigerian film industry dates back to the last few decades, and who on her return took Nollywood by storm. But before we continue, please take a moment to subscribe to our channel and also click on the bell icon to be notified as soon as we drop another exciting video. Now, let's dive in. Number 10. Omoni Oboli was born on the 22nd of April 1978 in Benin City, Edo State, to parents from Mosogar in the Kingdom of Sapele, Delta State. She grew up in Wari, Delta State, and attended Delta Steel Company Primary School, as well as the Delta Steel Company Technical High School. Number 9. For her higher education, Omoni Oboli attended the prestigious University of Benin, Uniben, and graduated with a second-class upper degree in foreign languages, majoring in the French language. Following an initial stint in Nollywood in the mid-1990s, Omoni decided to hone her skills at the New York Film Academy, where she obtained a certificate in digital filmmaking in 2000. Number 8. You now probably have an idea that Omoni was not relatively new to Hollywood as many thought. The actress had a brief stint with the Nigerian film industry before disappearing to face other priorities. Her debut film was in the 1996 film Bitter Encounter, where she played the role of a second the same year, she also appeared in Shame, Not My Will, Destined to Die and Another Campus Tale. The pointers suggested that Omoni was said to have a successful Nollywood career. Number 7. Omoni Oboli was the first Nollywood actress to win the Best Actress Award at the Los Angeles Movie Awards and at the Harlem International Film Festival. The actress won the award for her portrayal of Joyce Unanga in the 2010 film Anchor Baby. The film, written, directed and produced by Lonzo Nzekwe, tells the story of Joyce, played by Omoni, who had been ordered to leave the United States but decided to hide to give birth to her baby in America to guarantee automatic US citizenship for the unborn child. Number 6. Omoni Oboli grew up in a broken home. According to the actress, her parents broke up when she was a baby and she never knew her parents together as she described it. Both her parents are now dead. Her father, Chief Matthew Uke, died in an auto accident on the 5th of May 2017. He was a retired permanent secretary and a member of the Delta State Civil Service Commission. Her mother died much earlier than that. Omoni makes frequent references to her mother and how she greatly influenced her. Number 5. Omoni returned to acting in the 2009 film Entanglement after an extended absence that stretched over a decade. The film also starred Desmond Elliott and Mercy Johnson. She also played a major role in Kunle Ofalayan's 2009 award-winning film The Figurine, which also stars her son, Toby Oboli. Since then, there has been no holding back for her. Omoni has been a staple in many high-profile Nollywood films such as Bent Arrows, Feathered Dreams, Brothers Keeper, Fifty, Render to Caesar, The Wedding Party, Sugar Rush, and more. Number 4. Fans of the screen goddess will know that Omoni Oboli is also a notable filmmaker with several directing credits to her name. Her directorial debut was in the 2014 comedy Being Mrs. Elliot. She followed that in 2015 with The First Lady. However, Omoni Oboli's earliest most popular film as a director and producer was Wives on Strike in 2016, which she also starred in alongside popular actresses like Uche Jumbo, Chiongma Akpota, Ifoma McDermott, Sola Sobowale, and Kende Bankole. Kalu Ikeagu, Julius Agru, and Kenneth Okonkwo also starred in the film. Omonia Bolli is also credited to writing most of the screenplays for the movies she directed and produced under her Diony Vision Entertainment. Her films are also amongst the highest Nollywood grossing films of all time. Number 3. The filmmaker also runs a charity organization through her Omonia Bolli Foundation, founded in 2012. The foundation aims to take care of less privileged women and children. Her foundation partners with Child Lifeline, an ONG that cares for street children by providing them with food and shelter. To mark her 40th birthday in 2018, the foundation launched the Lizzie Kitchens Project, 
designed to feed 500 street kids in Lagos State every week. However, it's not clear how many weeks a program lasted. Number two, did you know that Omoni's popular 2018 film, Moms at War, was inspired by her late mom? Yes, the actress revealed this in an interview with The Cable during the premiere of the film on the 12th of August 2018. Speaking about the film, the filmmaker says, I decided I was going to direct the film because I wanted to use this film to honor my mother. Essentially, she lived for us, my sister and I. When a woman lives for her kids, she's ready to do anything and everything for those kids. She goes to war for them every day. So I thought, what better film to honor this woman's memory than this movie? Moms at War was also the first time Omoni Oboli and actress Funke Akindele worked together on a project. Omoni called the experience amazing and fun. The film was also the first project that the filmmaker directed and was not scripted by her. Number one, Omoni Oboli spent over 10 10 years away from Nollywood. Following her promising early start, the actress disappeared from our screens. During this time, she attended the New York Film Academy and got married shortly after to her husband, Namdi Oboli, in March of 2000. The marriage is blessed with three sons. Her first child, Toby, was born in October 2001. Her second son, Gozi, was born in July 2003, while her last child, Cheesy, was born in March 2005. Omoni Oboli appears to be in a happy place in her family. Her family lives in Canada and she shuttles between North America and Nigeria. Fun fact, did you know that Omoni Oboli is also a published author? Yes, in May 2018, the filmmaker published a memoir titled The Stars Are Ageless, Finding My Light in Life, in Love and On Set. Who better than herself is equipped to tell you about her life? So you might want to get a copy of the book to hear it from the horse's mouth, so to speak. With that, we've come to the end of this edition of the Top 10 Celebrity Facts Series, brought to you by Cydemex Entertainment. Are there some quick facts you feel like we missed? Please let us know in the comment section below and check out this other recent clip from Cydemex Entertainment. Don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.